I think that I entered uh, the music profession in a very privileged uh, way. Uh, I, uh, when I was a kid, I was with a mind reading act in vaudeville. I uh, was the one who sat on the stage blindfolded and uh, played uh, titles of songs, uh, played the songs rather, that women, uh, the titles of which women used to write on pads of paper at uh, each performance and before they could finish writing the title on the page, I played the song, which uh, as everybody knows is sheer wizardry. And uh, that was my first entrance into the music business. What I think I learned backstage watching hundreds and hundreds of singers, I think I learned something about the construction of tunes, and I learned something about the construction of lyrics, what, uh, which songs uh, got across the foots in a big way and which didn't, and why they didn't and why they did. Uh, later on, uh, I think that led me into the music business. One of my songs is All of Me, and this came about in this way. A, uh, another songwriter by the name of Seymour Simons, a fine writer who had written things like Breezing Along with the Breeze and I'm in Love with You, Honey, uh, did the lyric to a tune of mine, and he called it All of Me. And I tramped up and down the New York uh, Tin Pan Alley here for two weeks, and nobody would have it. Uh, many publishers uh, turned it down because they said it was dirty. Uh, you might, uh, anybody listening to this, might compare that statement with uh, what they hear today in songs. But All of Me, Take All of Me, was considered dirty, and um, very uh, sadly, I took a bus and went on back to Michigan with the song in my envelope. Nobody would have it, and I knocked on the door uh, of a dressing room in a theater in uh, my town, and uh, where a, a big star, a big vaudeville star of the day, Belle Baker, was uh, performing. She was one of the great singers of her day, particularly ballads. And I, I didn't know her, but I knocked on her door and she let me come in and uh, demonstrate the song for her in her dressing room. And as I sang it, she started to sob hysterically and uh, would not stop crying. And uh, all that week, she made me uh, teach the song to her. And every time I sang it, which was about 25 times a day at least, she sat there and uh, sobbed and sobbed. Uh, she came to New York and sang the song on an interview show one night, and the next morning all over Manhattan there were thousands of calls for the song, and she single-handedly made the song a worldwide hit. I later on asked her why she had sobbed so when I demonstrated the song, and she said, uh, uh, I thought you knew, and I said, knew what? She said, well, I had just buried my husband four weeks before. The song, she says, was not, is not a torch song for me. It's a funeral lament. She said, just play the song now, and you'll see what I mean. All of me, why not take all of me? Can you see I'm no good without you? Take on. 